Hello, good evening, Edwin. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Edwin? Hello, Edwin. Can you hear me? It is now. Hi. Can you hear me right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Um. Let me just write in the chats. Um, okay. All right, Edwin, how are you? How you been? Oh, your microphone's off. Your mic your microphone? It's closed right now. Oh, okay. Bye. There we are. Okay. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Good, good. How was your day? Um, good. Really? Um, <laughs> that 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 fine doesn't sound too convincing. I I think I have I have my wife with um no sé cómo se dice o el aseo de la casa oh the house chores house chores uh huh oh. your 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 wife is doing house chores house chores mm okay okay so and are you helping her yeah. mm -hmm. okay so you're so you're right now you're busy doing all of the house cleaning yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's sunday that's what you do on sundays <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, on Sunday you do everything that you can't do during the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you... mm -hmm. I know, I know. Sundays, sometimes Sundays are a little bit more uh, tiring than other days of the week. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you got you got to do everything else that you don't have time for during the week, so so I get it. Yeah, it's time. Okay, well, Edwin. Um, well, we sent notice to the others. They haven't connected yet, so I'm just gonna start the class. Okay. Um. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so we have here the food pyramid. And the food pyramid is based on 
a looking at the foods that you are supposed to eat, okay? So looking at the foods that are good for you and that are make you a balanced meal. So at the bottom, we have the grains. What are grains in Spanish? Grain. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, what are grains? Grano. Yeah, exactly, granos. So we have here the grains, okay? Now, they are the biggest group because you're supposed to eat a little bit more of the grains, okay? Um, but not like too, too much. Um, then we have the fruits and vegetables. What are fruits? Fruits in Spanish? Fruta y vegetales. Yeah, exactly. Fruits and vegetables. So those are the, that's the next category because you're supposed to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but um, not a, you know, it's a smaller quantity. Then we have the meat and other proteins. What is that? Meat and other proteins? In Spanish, what is that? Uh, meat on the... No sé, comida y otras proteínas. Eh, meat, what is meat? Carne. Carne, very good. Yeah, so carne y... Y otras proteínas. Y otras proteínas, okay, good. And then we have the dairy. What is dairy? I know. I don't know. You don't know? No. Lactios. Okay. Yes, exactly. Lactios. Okay, so the meats and other proteins and dairies are the next category that are important, but you have to eat less of. Then finally, we have the fats, oils, and sugar. What is that? Uh, fat. Hmm? fat. I know. What are fats? Fats? No. Um, I'll give you an example of fat. A fat could be like, um, for example, mm -hmm. Like manteca, that could be a fat. Mm -hmm. So, what is fat in English? In Spanish, sorry. Grasa, huh? Grasa, tipo grasa. Gras, eh, yes, uh huh, yeah. Grasa, aceite y azúcar. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that is the category that is even less. We're supposed to eat very little of that, not very much, okay? All right, so now let's look at in the individual categories. Okay, in the greens we have bread. Green. Can you repeat? Bread. Bread. Cereal. 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 Mm -hmm. cereal. Not cereal, cereal. but cereal. Mm -hmm. cereal. Crackers. Water. Rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. Noodles. Noodles. Mm -hmm. And pasta. And pasta. Okay. Do you understand the vocabulary? Yeah. Yes, all of it? Yeah. We 
we understand um, crackers? Mm -hmm. Galletas. Good. Mm -hmm. But what kind of galletas? Huh? Mm -hmm. What kind? What kind of galletas? Como Oreo? Uh, no, como, como salada. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Crackers. Yeah, that's crackers. And noodles? What is noodles? Um, son of Nacionales le decimos macarrones. Um, no, that would be that would be spaghetti. Noodles. No. Mm -hmm. it, the Asians eat a lot of noodles. No. People from Asia, like like Chinese, the Taiwanese, the Thais. The um yeah, all of those people they eat a lot of noodles. So noodles are similar to pasta. Similar. Uh-huh. Kind yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are they? What are noodles? No. Pite. I, I don't know. Pide. Pide. Fideos. No. Okay. Palabra, es palabra nueva. Que noodles or fideos? Ah, uh, no, noodles. Ah, uh, noodles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Those yeah. are noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right, let's continue. Bananas. 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 Apples. 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 Mangoes. Mango. Mangoes. Mango. Strawberries. Strawberry. Strawberries. Strawberry. Oranges. 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 Okay. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. In the vegetables, we have broccoli. Broccoli. Mm -hmm. Broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. Carrots. Carrot. Carrots. Carrot. Lettuce. 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 Mm -hmm. Potatoes. 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 Tomatoes. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Um, so be careful. This is lettuce. It's not lettuce. Lettuce, no. Lettuce. Merit. <laughs> yeah. Lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know I know it because many people want to want to pronounce it like it's like it's lettuce, but no, it's not lettuce. It's not lettuce, it's lettuce. Merit. Uh-huh. In... You can you can pronounce it like this. Lettuce. 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 And you uh similar pronunciation with 
letra. Oh, no, that's letter. 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 Uh, yeah. This one's lettuce with an S. Lettuce. Okay. Lettuce. Or tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Yeah. No patatoes. <laughs> okay. Potatoes. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. And yes, tomatoes. Tomatoes. And not tomatoes, right? No. Okay. So, <laughs> tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. Are you sure? No question. Sure. Okay. Let's go on to the meats and other proteins. So we have fish, fish, beans, beans. chicken, chicken, beef, beef, eggs, eggs, and nuts. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Good. What is fish in Spanish? Pescado. Pescado. Good. Beans? Frijoles. Yes. Very good. All right. Nuts? Mr. Bean. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Okay. Nuts? Uh, nuts. Sorry? Nuts. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. Any questions? No. No? Okay. Then we have milk. 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 Okay. Yogurt. 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 So it's not yogurt, it's yogurt. Mm -hmm. And cheese. Yeah. Good. Any questions? No. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Um. So we have cream. Cream. Mm-hmm. Candy. Candy. Potatoes. Potato. Oil. Potato chip. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, okay. you're right. Sorry, my mistake. Potato chips. Potato chip. Oil. Oil. Butter. Butter. Mm -hmm. You have questions about no. the vocabulary? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. okay, very good. All right. Excellent. So um now what I want you to do is I want you to make a list. Things that you like and things that you don't like. Okay. So, what kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? Well, hey, don't don't tell me right now. Don't tell me right now. What food do you like and what food do you not like? I want you to a uh, put them in different categories. So you're going to. You're going to make a list, things I like and things I don't like. Okay. 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 All right. Like.
Okay. Yeah, you're finished? Yeah. Okay. So, what things do you like? I like. Mm -hmm. I like cracker. Mm -hmm. I, li I like bread. Bread? Bread. I like broccoli. I oh. like apple. You like I bread? Like... Okay, hold on. You like bread, broccoli, and apple. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. ba banana. Mm -hmm. Orange. Uh, mm -hmm. Mangoes. Mangoes. Okay. Egg. Eggs. Okay. Nap. Bean. Which one was that? Nuts. Nuts. Oh, nuts. Nuts. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Bean. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Uh -huh. And cream. And cream. Okay. I don't like fish. Rice. Yogurt. Uh, butter, okay, cereal, noodles, 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 como noodle. noodles, 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 okay. And, and pasta. And pasta. You don't like pasta? No. No? You don't like lasagna? No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Excellent. Um. Okay. So now we have this conversation. No? Oh. Yeah. One, 
We have a we have a conversation between Amanda and Adam. Okay, so you can repeat after me. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. What What do you want yes. for the picnic? Hmm. 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 How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. 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 Refri mm. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We we have some chicken on the refrigerator. 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 Yes. But we don't have any bread. But we don't have any bread. Mm -hmm. And but, we don't have any cheese. And we don't have any cheese. Mm -hmm. Do we have any drinks? Do we have any drink? No, we need some. No, we need some. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. 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 And let's lemonade. buy yes, lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Every um every one. Everyone likes potato salad. Everyone. Everyone likes potato salad. Like potato salad. Like mm -hmm. everyone. Yes, everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. No. Okay. All right, so what I'm, well, we'll do, we'll practice this conversation together. You can be Adam and I will be Amanda. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you want for, for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Oh, okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any cheese. Do we do do we have any green? Drinks. Edwin, drinks. Any drink? No, uh-huh, good. 
No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. 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 Mm -hmm. And lemonade. let's buy and let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, let's let's switch. Now you can be Amanda and I will be Adam. Okay. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwich? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Yeah. Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have anything. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's buy some lemonade. And then let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, very good, very good, bravo. Excellent. All right. Um, okay, so let's talk about how we can count um, or, yeah, or not <laughs> uh, vocabulary that's related to food. Okay. First of all, do we understand the concept of count and non-count nouns? No, you understand no. the concept? No? Mm. Si no mal recuerdo son los, los contables y no contables. Yeah. Do we understand the difference though? Uh, ejemplo, huevos se pueden contar y azúcar, ¿no? Right. Yeah, so basically, a countable nouns are those ones that you can put a number, right? It's easy to put a number. But non-count are the ones that we can't easily put a number. So it's very difficult. Like, yes, you said, for example, sugar. It's very difficult to, to put a number in sugar. We don't say, deme tres azúcares, right? Um, we can say, like, deme tres kilos or tres libras, or tres um, cucharas, or tres um, eh, paquetes, etc., etc. But we can't just say tres um, azúcares. Okay? So, um, so count nouns examples is an egg. So we use the word an egg, an, or a sandwich. Usually we use the word a instead of one, okay? So an egg, a sandwich. We don't say one usually. We don't say one egg, one, one sandwich, okay? Does that make sense? Um, an egg, an mm -hmm. egg. Yeah, an egg, a sandwich. Um, um. Okay. Do we understand it's clear? Yeah. Perfect, okay. All right. Um, and, and when we're being specific, right? For example, I'm eating an egg. I'm eating an egg. We're being specific, okay? I'm eating a sandwich, I'm being very specific, okay? Then we have non-count nouns. Non-count nouns are the ones that we can't count. So we said bread, for example, we can't count bread. We can count pieces of bread, okay? 
Like, for example, give me three, or we can say slices. Give me three slices of bread, or I need two slices of bread for the sandwich. What is slices of bread? Do you know slices? No. Slices. Yeah. What are yes, slices? Yeah. Yes, but the word slices specifically, what's it referring to? Slices. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. No. What is? Do you know that word? I slices? don't know. I'm, no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. Slices. Rebanadas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can say, I need two slices of bread for the sandwich. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And lemonade. Anything that is liquid, it cannot count. So lemonade, um, tea, coffee, water, um, soda. We cannot count it. Okay, juice. Possible. We can't check. We can't count. Not possible okay. to count. Okay. okay. Do we understand? Yes. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. 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 Give us it again. No, que los líquidos no no son contables. Yeah, all liquids. All liquids is not possible to count. Water, milk, sugar, sorry, water, milk, coffee, tea, so, um, soft drinks like uh, a soda or juices. We can't count them. Okay. Now, okay. If, if we're being specific, we can say, I'm eating an egg. We're being specific. I'm eating an egg. It means I'm eating one egg. I'm eating. Do you understand eating? I'm eating? Yeah, eating. No. I'm eating. I'm eating. Mm. I'm eating. Yeah. Eating. Eating. Uh -huh. I'm comiendo. eating an egg. I'm eating an egg. I'm eating. What does it mean? I'm eating an egg. I eat an Yeah, what does that mean? I'm eating an egg. What does that mean? I'm eating an egg. An, yeah, it's, it means one. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean in Spanish? I'm eating an egg. Exactly. Exactly. So we're being specific. Sabemos exactamente. Sabemos a qué huevo se refiere. ¿Verdad? Porque estamos siendo específicos. No estoy comiendo cualquier huevo, estoy comiendo un huevo. Oh, un, huevo en, un, un huevo en particular. So we're being specific. Okay? Oh, That's why we use the word an. Okay? Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. good. All right. Now, um, let's get some bread. We can also use the word some uh, to be specific with non-counts. Let's get some bread. Let's get 
found them. Yeah, what does that mean? Yalguno. So let's get some hay, some bread, sorry. Algunos o algo de. Ah. Okay. All right, so let's get some bread. What does that mean? Get some bread. Yeah. Uh -huh. Estoy comiendo un huevo. Y algo de pan. Estoy comiendo. Oh, no, bueno, uh -huh. no, but let's get some bread. What does that mean? Let's get some bread. Let's get what it was what does it mean let's get? Mm, let's get let's es go. consigamos. Let's get. Consigamos. Mm -hmm. Consigamos. So Let's get some bread. Let's get. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Consigamos algo de pan. Yes, perfect. Consigamos algo de pan. So, so we're being specific. O sea, sabemos exactamente a qué pan nos referimos. Okay. Uh -huh. No es pan en general. ¿Ok? Porque de hecho específicamente estamos hablando, queremos, estamos pan para el sándwich, ¿verdad? So, we know exactly what we're talking about. ¿Ok? El pan para el sándwich es el bread. Eh, let's get some bread, o sea, consigamos, sabemos a qué nos referimos. En la, mm, okay. ¿Ok? Ok. All right, very good. No, no, no. No necesariamente well, ese pan, sino que pueden ser bolitas de pan. Ah, pero estamos, estamos hablando, queremos conseguir un pan en particular, no es que estamos hablando del pan en general. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Now, when we are talking about things in general, we, what we do is we put an S, for for count nouns, okay? We put an okay. S. So, for example, eggs are good for you. Eggs are good for you. Okay, what it means, what does it mean eggs are good for you? Um, well. Mm -hmm. Los huevos son buenos para ti. El pan es bueno para ti. ¿Puedes repetir, Edwin? No. Eggs. 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 Eggs are good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how do you say that in Spanish? Uh, huevos son buenos para ti. Exactly. Los huevos son buenos para ti. Oh, uh -huh. eh, so, ¿estamos hablando de algún huevo en particular? No. No, that's why it's general. Okay, yeah. eggs are good for you. So when we're yeah. when when we are talking in general, we don't say an egg. We say just eggs. Eggs are good for you. 
Okay. 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 Good. All right. Then we have bread. Bread is good for you. Notice you don't say some bread. It's just it's just bread. So for non-count nouns, non-count nouns, uh, we're, we're, when we're being general, we don't put it. We don't put uh, uh we don't put the word some nothing. Okay. So what does it mean? Bread is good for you. The bread. Bread is good for you. Pan. El pan es bueno para ti. El pan es bueno para ti. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál pan? No, we're not being. We're not. We're being, not being specific. We don't know. We don't say which bread. We just say bread is good for you. El pan es bueno para ti. Okay. Not specific. Yeah. Okay. It's not specific. Sound good? Sound good. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So basically, we use the word any. Alguna. Yeah, we use the word any when we are asking a question. For example, do you need any eggs? Do we any algunos? Do you need any banana? Mm -hmm. Do we need any eggs? So do we understand this? So the word any, we use it for questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that clear? I... Oh, wait. Algunos huevos. Si no, nosotros necesitamos algunos huevos. No. Do we need any eggs? Necesita. Necesi Ustedes. Necesitamos. Ajá. Nosotros Necesit necesitamos algunos. No, es, es una pregunta. Nosotros necesitamos. Do we need any do we need any eggs? It's a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we need any bread? No, we don't need any. So notice, no, notice that we can use the word any for questions. Okay. Do we need any eggs in Spanish? Do we need any eggs? Any. What does that mean in Spanish? Do we need any eggs? Necesitamos algunos huevos. Necesitamos algunos huevos? Good. Do we need any bread? Necesitamos algunos Ahí uh, sería algo o alguno. Bread. ¿Se puede contar bread? Can we count bread? Can we count bread or no? Contable. Yeah. Bread? Can we count bread? Se puede contar el, el pan. Yes or no? The piece. Wait. Sí o no? Se puede contar el pan, sí o no? <laughs> sí. Oh, no. ¿Cómo cuenta usted el pan? No. Dos pan. 
¿Y eso qué significa? Dos rebanadas, dos pedazos, dos bollos. ¿Qué? No, por so, can we count bread? ¿Podemos contar el pan? ¿Se puede contar el pan? No, no el pan no se puede contar. El pan se cuenta. El, el, el pan, es, eh, tenemos que decir qué estamos contando. Piezas, rebanadas, eh, um, bollos. ¿Ok? ¿Do we, do, do we understand? Yeah, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right, so do we need any bread? It's a question, right? Algo de pan. Mm -hmm. algo de pan? Okay. So algo de pan. when when we are asking a question, we use any for countables and non-countables. Okay? Can you okay. say that? Can you say that in Spanish? So when we're asking, when we're asking a question, we use any for a for for countables and non-countables. Um, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Now we can also use if you know it says no, we don't have, we don't need any, or no, we don't need any talking about the bread. So we can use also um, when it's negative. We can use the word any when it's negative. Okay. So when you say no, we don't need any. What does it mean? No, we don't need any. What does that mean? No, no, no necesitamos. No necesitamos. No necesitamos qué? Ah. So if I say, do we need any eggs? Necesitamos algo de huevos? Entonces responde, no, no necesitamos español en español. Do we need any eggs? ¿Necesitamos algo de huevos? No, no necesitamos ni en español. Ningún huevo. Ninguno. No, no necesitamos ninguno. Do we need ninguno. any bread? Necesitamos eh, algo de huevos, pero, pero algo de, de algo de pan. Algo, algo de pan? No. no. Bueno. No necesitamos ningún. Exacto. No necesitamos ninguno. Ok. So, any we use with questions and negative. Ok. O sea que en la, en la respuesta cambia el sentido de any. Uh mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. And if we are answering for something that is affirmative, we use the word some. Yes, let's get some. Or yes, let's get some, referring to the bread. So the word One. some, we use it for affirmative. Let's get. So what does that mean? Yes, let's get some. What does that mean? Sí. Sí. Con sí. Consigamos. Consigamos. Algunos huevos. Algunos. Ajá. Sí, consigamos algunos. Or... Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. 
Sí, Vamos. consigamos algún pan. Ajá. Okay. So do we understand? Is it, a, is it clear? Yeah. 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 Any questions that you have? No. Okay. Perfect. All right. So what we'll do then is we'll put we're going to do this exercise to be able to identify if we understand the use of some and any. So we're going to complete the conversation using some or using any. Okay. okay. Eh, ¿Quiere que se lo mande al, al chat o está bien así? No, acá lo tengo. Yo Perfect. imprimí el librito. Hey, excellent. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, wait. Welcome, Guillermo. Hola. Hi, welcome. Ahí les puse eh, un ratito a estar eh, eh, oyente porque voy manejando. Okay. Ya luego, eh, sí voy a ir escuchando y si puedo participar, voy a participar. Okay. Y ya luego me incorporo al 100%. Ok, perfect. So, right, just so that you know what, what is happening, Guillermo. Uh, we are completing the conversation using the word some or any. Okay. okay. The difference is because some is algunos y any is nothing, brother. Um, not exactly. It's so, similar. So the thing is that some is used um or, well, it can be used for countables and uncountables, but when it's affirmative. Okay. And any is used when it's a question or a negative. Oh, okay.
Okay, how are you doing? Are we almost ready, Edwin? Yo creo que sí. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's, put, let's see if we understand this. So um, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we, ha we have lots of potatoes. Let's make um. some. Good. Let's make some. Okay, do we have? Any. Good, any. Do we have any mayonnaise? Because, um, Remember, this is a question. And with questions, we use the word any. Now, be careful with the pronunciation. This is mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mayonnaise. Okay, mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. So not mayo. Mayonnaise, no, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> No, we need to buy um. some. Yeah, we need to buy some. We need um. yeah, some onions. Um. We need some onions too, because these are all affirmative. So we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want. Mm -hmm. I don't want any onions. I hate onions. I don't want any onions. Okay, because it's negative. Okay. Okay. And... Then let's get then let's get some some good let's get some celery because it's affirmative. Let's get some celery. And then we have uh let me say. No, I don't want any. I don't want any celery in my potato salad because it's negative. Okay, I don't want any. Don't but let's any. put some some apple. Let's put some. Let's put some apples into in it because it's affirmative. Apples and potato salad? That sounds awful. Okay. Any questions? That sounds what is the meaning healthy. of onion? Onions? Onions is the vegetable that when you cut. It makes you cry. Oh. You know, you know, Guillermo? The vegetable uh, that when you cut it, repeat. it's the onions is the vegetable that when you oh. cut, when you cut it, it makes uh -huh. you cry. Oh. Do you understand? When oh, you oh, cut. An idea. When, when you cut, cuando lo corta, it makes corta. you cry. Uh -huh. It makes you cry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, you, yes. You well, yes, I understand. What, what is? Cut, uh, uh -huh. cebolla, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, exactly. Yeah, it makes oh. you cry. Okay. All right. Any questions okay. about this? No question. No questions? You sure? Yes. 
Edwin, any questions about the pronunciation or vocabulary? How loud? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that sound awful. 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 Mm -hmm. For the pronunciation or the, the meaning? The meaning. The meaning. Okay. I need, I need yeah. Okay, no problem. Awful is, it, it means horrible. Horrible. Okay. Horrible. Yeah. Can you repeat? Oh, Be celery. Right. Celery? Fallow. Fallow. Celery. So celery is a vegetable. I'll tell you, I'll show you what is, what is celery. This is celery. This is celery. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Any other questions? No. No questions. No questions? No questions. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. So maybe, Edwin, you can practice the conversation with me. Okay. okay. So um, you can be, I'll be Amanda, you can be Adam. The store doesn't have any potatoes. Where? Where? We have a lot. We have we have a lot of potatoes. Let me some. Make some. Let's make some. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onion. I hate um. Then let's get some celery. I don't want any. In my potato salad, but um, let let put some apples in it. Apples and potato salad. That sounds awful. All right. Very good. Bravo. Okay, now I'm going to be Adam and you can be Amanda. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some. Onion too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. 
Denle y estábamos. Salary. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Salad. Let's get some apples. In, sorry, let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. Back south. Over. Very good. Bravo. Questions? No. No questions. No questions? No questions. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So um, let's let's categorize the vocabulary into count and non-count. So the vocabulary that we saw at the beginning. So this vocabulary. I'm gonna make it smaller. Mm -hmm. So this vocabulary, let's decide if it's if it's a it's not countable or non-count. Okay? okay. So all of this vocabulary, you're gonna say, for example, cream. Is cream countable or non-count? Okay. Uncountable. It, it's uncountable. So you're You can put beside it a U. Okay. And, hmm? Do you drink coffee? Do I drink coffee? Yeah. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. No, not coffee.
Okay. How are you doing? Okay. Can we check? Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. So we know cream is uncountable. What about candy? Not countable. Very good. It's it's uncountable. Potato chips. Potato chips. Hmm? Mm. It's complicated. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. Porque si lo, si lo mide por vos, si sí es contable, pero si ya la, la destaca. No, it's wrong. It's not, I think it's comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's comfortable. Let me just make sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it's comfortable. Yeah, it's countable. Mm -hmm. It's countable. Oil? Not countable. Yeah, definitely uncountable. Um, remember, all liquids are uncountable. Butter? Not countable. Mm -hmm. It's uncountable. Green? Oh no, we already talked about that. Oh. Okay, fish. Fish. Not the animal, the meat. Not the animal, the meat. Contable. Contable. The meat. It's uncountable. The meat. Contable. The meat. Not the animal. The meat. Okay? Que lo estamos viendo por la carne, no, no el animal. Okay? Because we're talking about as food. Okay. All right. So as as um as food, it's uncountable. Okay. Beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uncountable. Um, yeah, you don't you don't go to like you don't go to the cafeteria and say, give me 30 beans. No se pone a contar cada frijol, right? So yeah, it's uncountable. <laughs> what? <laughs> en la cafetería se ponen a, a contarlos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um chicken. Remember the meat, not the animal. No problem. Yeah, it's uncountable. If we're talking about meat, it's always uncountable. 
Um, all right. Um, beef. Yeah, again, it's the, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's uncountable because we're talking about the meat. Eggs. Definitely countable. We can count them. Nuts. Mm, not, not countable. It's uncountable. Yeah. Normally we don't count nuts. Okay. Um. Okay. Milk. Not countable. Yeah, it's uncountable. Yogurt? Not counted. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Cheese? Cheese? Countable. No. Si habláramos, si habláramos por rebanadas, fuera contado. Entonces estamos contando las rebanadas. Las rebanadas estamos... No. Deme tres rebanadas de queso. ¿Ya? Pero el queso en sí no, se, no estamos contando, sino que las rebanadas. No. ¿Ok? All right. Bananas. Content. Yes, definitely. Uh, apples. Content. Good. Oranges. Content. Mm -hmm. Strawberries. Content. Mm -hmm. Mangoes? Contemplum. Mm -hmm. Broccoli. Contemplum. Broccoli? It's uncountable. It's uncountable. Mm -hmm. Usted, cuando hacen brócoli, le dice, deme tres brócolis. No, la verdad no. Uh -uh. Porque, ¿a qué se refiere con, si diría tres brócolis, a qué se refiere? O sea, eh, si un brócoli parece como ramita, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿a, a, eh, ¿a qué se refiere? Exactamente. Eh, so, broccoli, cauliflower, things like that we can. Um, cabbage, we can't really count. Okay? O sea, si tenemos que hacerlo como partiendo, you're probably not going to count it. Carrots. Countable. Lettuce. Uncountable. Uncountable. Anything that's like leafy, that would be uncountable. Okay. Potatoes? Potatoes? Yeah, those we can definitely count. Potatoes. Tomatoes? Potatoes. Yeah, we can also count them. Okay, good. Red? Uncountable. Yeah, we can't count red. Cereal? Uncountable. 
also uncomfortable. Crap crackers. Countable. Countable. Right? What? Uncountable. Uncountable. Because we don't put we don't start counting the grain every grain of rice. Noodles. Uncountable. Pasta. Hmm? It's uncountable. All right, good. Wrap up. Excellent. Do you have any questions? No questions. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah? Okay. All right. Excellent. Just give me a moment. Okay. So around the world, people eat different things for breakfast. So let's start talking about what people usually eat for breakfast. What do people have for, what do people in the US have for breakfast? They have eggs. Repeat, eggs. Eggs. Bacon. Bacon, bacon. Not bacon, bacon no, bacon. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Mm -hmm. Orange juice. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Coffee. Jam. Yeah. Or yeah. jelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Very good. Do you have questions about this vocabulary? No question. You don't have any questions about any of it? What is jam? Kalea. Mm. Good. And jelly? Almost. Similar, but not, not exactly. Okay. Jelly? What is jelly? Jelly is a kalea. Yeah. Or mermelada, quizás. Yeah, it's, yeah, so jam and jelly are very similar. Um... It, but it, jam has a little bit more fruit in it. Jelly is more like uh, more synthetic. Okay. It's more like the flavor in a lot of sugar. Okay. All right. We have fish. So this is what that's what they eat in the US. In Japan, they eat fish. Repeat fish. fish. Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Yeah. So it's not soup, but soup. 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 Mm -hmm. Pickles. Pickles. Pickle. And green tea. Green tea. 
Okay. Do you what understand? is the meaning of pickles? Ah, uh, very good question. Pickles are like imagine like small cucumbers in vinegar. Okay, you you understand cucumbers? Oops, sorry. Cucumbers. Yeah, yeah. You understand the word cu cucumbers? I'll, I'll write in the chat. In the chat, I wrote in the chat cucumbers. Do you understand cucumbers? Uh, I don't know if is curcuma. No. No. Cucumbers is a vegetable. Uh, okay. It's a green, it's a green vegetable. It's long. It's a long green vegetable. You use it in salad a lot. Berhena. Berhena. No, no, green, green. Uh -huh. And you and you yeah, put okay. it in, you put it in salad a lot. Yeah, I know in Spanish. So cucumbers. What are cucumbers? Cucumbers? It's parecido a la berenjena, solo que es verde. Es saludable, por cierto. Bueno, todos todo los vegetales son bien saludables. <risa> eh, sí, solo que eso lo recomiendan mucho por, porque no tiene contenido de azúcar. Uh -huh. eh, tiene bastantes propiedades positivas por uh -huh. empezar verde. Sí, yeah, exactamente. Cucumbers? So you put it in salad. Edwin, do you know? No. Okay, so in in a salad, what what do you usually put in a salad that is green? And it's long. It's long and green. Okay. What is it? Cuando hace cuando cuando se hace ensalada, algo que se le pone que es normalmente muy común en ensaladas. And it's long and it's green. El pepino. Mm -hmm. Good. Pepino. Good. So, cu so cucumbers, pepinos. And then we have pickles. Pickles are like small cucumbers in vinegar. Mm -hmm. Okay. In vinegar. Do you, do you understand, Guillermo? So, yes, yeah, it's yeah. only that I don't have the word in Spanish in my in mind. Okay, so in Spanish it would be pepinillo. Uh, mm -hmm. Pepinillo. Okay, all right, good. Any other vocabulary questions? about uh, the breakfast in Japan? A question. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Mexico. What do what do people in Mexico eat for breakfast? Yeah. Eggs? Yeah. Eggs. Beans. Beans. Tortillas. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Good. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary here? Any question? Okay. No questions? No. Okay. 
All right, so what is what is sweet bread? Pan dulce. Pan dulce, okay. Good. Good. Okay, all right. Now, what about you? What do you usually eat for breakfast? I want you to make a list of what you normally eat for breakfast. In El Salvador, we usually eat uh, pupusas, tamales, uh, additional uh, eat like Mexico. Okay, good. I want you to write it down. Write down, um, and then we'll check in a moment. I'll give you a few minutes. You can write, what do you normally eat in El Salvador? Okay. Okay, are you finished? Do you need more time? Uh, yes, I finished. Okay, all right. So what do you normally eat for breakfast? Uh, I'll start with Edwin. What do you normally eat for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Eggs. Eggs, okay. Mm -hmm. Beans. Beans. Beans, okay. Beans. Which one? Beans. Perdón, no le escuché bien. Yeah. Peas. Uh, no, peas. Beans. Ay, disculpe que no le escucho. Peas. Teas. 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 In, in Spanish? Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, cheese. Uh -huh, please. Got it. Cheese. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Bread or tortilla? Bread of what? Tortilla. Oh, bread or tortillas. Okay. Mm -hmm. And coffee. Coffee. Okay. Good. 
Anything else? No. No? No. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Gero, how about you? What do you normally have for breakfast? Uh, for breakfast, uh, I normally eat eggs, uh, beans, uh, cheese, uh, bread, uh, platano. Mm. Uh, um, yes. Um, that... Cream. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Sausage, and sometimes. Sausage, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, tortillas. Mm hmm. Tamales. Uh -huh. mm. eh, eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Creo que ya, ya, ya empieza a despertar el hambre ahí. Ok, good. So, how do you say plátano en inglés? Eh, eh, I don't know if say similar to banana. Uh, no. Because in El Salvador, plátano is different to banana. Right. So how do you say plátano in English? Do you have any idea? Um, no idea. Edwin, do you know plátano in English? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. So you say... Plantain. Plantain. I wrote plantain. in the chat. Plantain. And usually in El Salvador, we eat fried plantain. Fried. Yeah. Normally we eat it fried. Yes, it's normal. Oh, tengo. Ya me empezó a dar ganas de de comer plátano. Okay. Tengo retos de no comer plátano. Okay. Anything else that you want to ask about? Any other vocabulary? Nothing. Nothing. No? No. Okay. Now, what do, what do you think about the breakfast in the U.S.? Would you have that breakfast? Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Yes? Do you like that breakfast? Yes, it's typical. Yeah? yeah? You like it? Yes, I like it. Okay. What about... The breakfast in Japan. Do you like the breakfast in Japan? Uh, yes. It's yes. good, but in El Salvador, because the people is very uh, expensive. Expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. don't buy fish uh, and uh, usually eat traditional or typical uh, breakfast. Yes. But if you had money, would you eat fish for breakfast? Maybe. It's very yeah. good as salmon. Okay. All right. What what about you, Edwin? Would you have fish for breakfast? I don't like fish. <laughs> you don't like fish. That's true. That's true. So you never you would never have fish. Okay. Okay. I don't like. You don't like fish. Okay. All right. What is um other vocabulary, uh, related to to uh, breakfast breakfast that you, um that you don't know the vocabulary to that you would like to ask? A mí, teacher, a mí no. Disculpa que le hablen en español, pero a mí no me quedó claro lo de la, 
lo de desayuno de Estados Unidos en la, lo, lo de la última palabra fue jelly 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 eso no me quedó claro porque estaba buscando ahí mientras hacíamos lo, lo, otra cosita acá y vi que decían como le tiramos una imagen no sé si estaba en el correcto como como gelatina yeah yeah it's it, it's like a yeah it, we can say that it's like a like a jello but it's um it has the flavor of fruit Mm. It has the flavor of fruit, but and it's very sweet. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other things that you want to ask about? No. Thank you. Okay, so you should put jelly on your like toast, for example. You yeah, put jelly on your toast. Okay. okay. All right, okay. very good. Okay, um, tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah, I think. Yes, I saw. Great. Okay, so we have this conversation is Sarah and Kumiko are talking about breakfast. Um, I want you to listen and repeat after me. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Okay, I think I'm going to break it down a little bit more. My family always has. My family always always has. Mm -hmm. A Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. A Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Really? What do they have? We usually have fish. Rice and soup. Rice and soup. Rice and soup. Rice and soup. Mm -hmm. Fish for breakfast. For breakfast. That's interesting. That. Really? Uh sorry, um sorry. Sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. Mm -hmm. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Can you, can you also repeat? Well, I never have green tea. Sorry, I, I never have fish for breakfast. Oh, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. But I like to try new things. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Any questions? 
Questions about the meaning of words, like, like the yeah, the the vocabulary. Something you don't understand. Why? Rice. I like I I like to try new things. Uh huh. Eh, try. You understand the word try? Yeah. What is try? Try. Mm -hmm. What is try? Como intentar. Intentar. Mm -hmm. Intentar. Or it can also be probar. Okay. So if I say I like to try new things, what do you think it means, Edwin? Yeah, what does it mean? I, I like, I like. Me gustaría. Me gusta. Me gusta probar nuevas cosas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to try new things. I like to try new things. Do you have any other questions about the vocabulary? Okay, what about the pronunciation? Do you have questions about the pronunciation? No questions about the pronunciation? No question for me. Okay. All right. So I would like to see Edwin and Guillermo trying this conversation. So uh, Edwin, you can be Sara, and Guillermo, you can be Kumiko. Okay. Let's have a break together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you do have? Usually some fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have great things. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Graph. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um, now let's switch. So Guillermo, you can be Sara and Edwin, you can be Kumiko. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always have a Japanese side breakfast on Sunday. What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green beans. Well, I never eat fish in breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. Um, just uh, let's be careful with this word here. Okay, so we don't we don't want to confuse this word with soap. Okay, so it's not the same thing as soap. So soap, sorry, soap is like this. And it is not the same thing. Okay, this is soup. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, Any other questions that you have? What is the meaning of soap? Soup? No, la otra palabra. Soap. Soap is uh, jabón. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. Don't confuse it. You don't want to be eating soap for breakfast. Okay. No questions, sir? No. Okay. Very good. Bravo, guys. Excellent job. Well, all right. So, guys, we have come to the end of our class. Um, it just went by really quickly. Okay. So, we are going to be having class. Do you know when's the next day for our class? It's going to be on the 7th of October, which is next Saturday. Okay, so we're going to have class next Saturday. Okay? Yes. Any questions? No. Sir. No? no. Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Acuérdense, tienen que estar trabajando en la plataforma y no se atrasen. Um, ahorita estamos en la sección 4. Eh, así que mínimo deberíamos de tener ya eh, el sección 1, 2 y 3 y el midterm. Deberíamos de tener, haberlo ya terminado. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Take care and have a good, a good weekend. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.